Okay, we're ready for leaves D, E, and F for the French beaded Echeveria project that we're working on. Um, I posted the leaves A, B, and C in the previous video, and I will link to that in the description below. Now, we're working with the basic frame technique, and I'm going to assume that you're already familiar with that technique. If you are not, I will also have a link to that in the description um, if you need it. Now, in this lesson, we're actually going to be altering the basic frame. In the last video, I showed you the top wire extensions that we did with leaves A, B, and um, C, or actually just leaves B and C. But in this one, we're going to be doing those top wire extensions, and we're going to be doing bottom wire extensions to um, alter the shape even more. So, all right, so we're going to start with leaf D, and I've got um, color B strung onto 24 gauge copper core wire in a similar color. And I've also cut about a four inch length of a 32 gauge wire in the same color. Um, if you happen to have a 30 gauge, that will work uh, just the same. Um, I just couldn't find the same color in a 30 gauge, but um, about four inches there. This is going to be our lacing wire. We're going to lace as we go this time just because we're working with matte beads. And I find that matte beads, um, they lace easier if you lace them as you go. The rough surface texture of them kind of makes it hard for the wire to slide down between them if you wait until after the petal is finished. Um, so I'm going to lace these as, you go, as I go, but you can lace after if you want to, if that is your personal preference then just go ahead and wait until the end of lace. Okay, now let's get our frame set up for leaf D. Um, now we're gonna be doing a top wire extension and a bottom wire extension, and I like to put those beads on my frame as I'm setting it up instead of waiting until later. But you definitely can add them on later if um, that makes it easier for you. I just tend to forget them if they're not there. I go into like this mindless zone and just keep beating <laughs> and forget to put my extensions on. So I put them there so they're in my face and remind me what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, so leaf B has a three bead basic row, and then we're going to have a one bead top wire extension, and then we're going to have a two bead um, bottom wire extension. Okay, so I'm gonna set those up in the frame as I'm making it. These ones are gonna go above the bottom wire, and we only need about an inch for the top wire there. That should be plenty of space for what we're doing with this leaf. And the bottom wire only needs to be about three inches long. I'm just gonna eyeball it. And then I've got those two beads caught in the loop, the bottom loop of my basic frame. All right, so cross that over underneath the basic row, pinch and hold, and twist those two wires together. And we're only gonna twist down a little ways um, because otherwise we're gonna have to untwist it later. Okay, so straighten out the frame by pulling, and then we're gonna move that top bead out of the way by moving up to the end of the wire and bending it back. And keep an eye on that bead and make sure it doesn't slide down before you want it to. All right, now we're gonna wrap row two and we're doing a, a pointed bottom and round top. So we're gonna do a round top with a 90 degree angle wrap. And then I'm going to add in my lacing wire. Ooh, I can't pick it up. Okay. So fold that lacing wire in half, just as you would for regular lacing. And we're going to insert it into the front of our leaf around the basic row. And we're gonna go right above the bottom bead. So right around, ah, okay. Put it through. <laughs> okay. All right, so right above that bottom bead on the basic row, right there. And then we're gonna cross the wires over the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lace row two. Okay. All right, so I've got my lacing wire attached in, and I'm gonna keep wrapping rows until I get to row six, and we're doing a pointed bottom and round top. So go down to the bottom, and before you wrap, lace it in. All right, and we're gonna do a 45 degree angle at the bottom. All 
right, so we've got row three, and now we're going to wrap row four up. But before we get to the top wire, we're going to lease it in. All right, now we're doing a round top. So 90 degree angle wrap. Down the side. And lace it in. Bottom wire is a 45 degree angle wrap. All right, now we're doing row, this is row six here. And we're going to wrap at the top wire, 90 degree angle. And then we're going to stop right there because we need to do our bottom wire extension. All right, so if you have any twists in that bottom wire, untwist them. And what I want you to do is to turn your leaf on this side. And we're gonna be looking at just these bottom wires here. There should be one that's kind of a little bit more above. Do you kind of see the way that they separate? This one's down lower and this one's up higher. We're gonna take those two bottom wire extension beads and slide them up onto the wire that's further up. That's just gonna help that bottom wire extension be a little bit more in line and level with the rest of the leaf. Now this second wire, the one that's below, needs to go behind those beads, not beside them. So be very careful when you're lining these up to make sure that that wire gets behind those beads, otherwise it's going to be visible in your finished leaf. So I'm gonna kind of hold these beads in place and I'm gonna very tightly twist those two bottom wires below the two bead extension. And I'm kind of opening this up wide so I can get a tighter twist. So I want that twist to be right up underneath those beads so they don't slide around anywhere. So open it up wide. All right. So there's our bottom wire extension. And now when we do row seven, I'm going to lace it in before we get to the bottom wire. And then we're gonna mold it around this bottom wire. We're gonna mold it before we wrap the row, not after. So mold it, measure out, and we're going to be doing a 45 degree angle. All right, now the same with row eight here. We're going to make sure that it's molded around that bottom wire extension as we're making the row, not after. All right. So release it in. And then round top, and my top wire extension bead is still up there. All right, row nine is the last color, the last row that we're gonna do in this color, and then we're gonna switch. So release it in. And then mold it around that top, that bottom wire extension, 45 degree angle. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing that we did for our previous leaves. <laughs> Instead of measuring my wire, I'm just gonna wrap it around and then give myself a little bit of extra slack to work with so I'm not working with a nub of wire. And then we're going to add color A onto the working wire. Ah. Got a wonky bead there, don't want that one. Okay, that should be plenty. I'm gonna make a little loop in the end of my wire. All right, I'm gonna make sure those beads are down on top of that bottom wire. Wrap around the side, lace it in, and because this is the outside row, I'm actually gonna wrap it around twice to secure the end of my lacing wire. All right, now we need to bring down that top wire extension bead and make sure that it's right above the last row of beads. We don't really want a gap, so put it right above those beads. And just like before, we're going to mold this 
row around that top wire extension, kind of like it's uh, pointing straight up with that basic row. And then we're going to do a 45 degree angle wrap because we're switching to a pointed top. Mold that row around that top wire extension, make it nice and pointy. Down the side, lace it in and double wrap. And then we're going to go down to this bottom wire and because this is our last row of beads, I'm going to make sure that's molded nicely before I do this. Okay, this is our last row of beads, so we're going to wrap the working wire twice around the bottom wire to secure it. And we are going to reduce to two bottom wires, and that means that we're going to remove the working wire. Just very close, as close as you can to that little tie-off. And then we're going to open up our bottom loop, and I'm going to cut it on the side. And I'm going to leave these wires untwisted. We're going to need them um, untwisted for assembly because um, I have a different way that we're going to assemble these. So leave them untwisted for now. And we're going to go and remove our lacing wires. And then we're going to cut that top wire short and fold it to the back of the leaf. All right, there we have a finished leaf D. Now you're going to make four of them in this color with uh, color B as the main color and color A as the edging. And then you're going to make one of them using um, color, color C for the main color and then uh, color A for the edging. All right, now we're ready to start leaf E. A leaf E is made very similar to leaf D, just a little bit larger. We have the same frame setup, so we have a three bead basic row, a one bead top wire extension, and then a two bead bottom wire extension that should be in your bottom loop. All right, now we're gonna wrap rows two through eight with a round top and pointed bottom. And I'm gonna lace as I go again. Ah. Alright, so I've got my lacing wire added in. I'm going to lace row two because it's already on there. Okay. Now I'm going to wrap rows three through eight with a round top pointed bottom. And I'm going to lace as I go. Okay, so we're going to stop here. My working wire should be at the top of my leaf. And again, if there are any wires in your bottom that are twisted, untwist them. Find the wire that is on top and move those two bottom wire extension beads onto the top wire. The second wire should go behind the beads. Grab and pinch and then twist those wires very tightly together below those beads. I'm going to wrap row nine and I'm going to mold around that bottom wire extension. Oh, I forgot to lace. Lace it and then mold around that bottom wire extension beads and then measure to the bottom. 45 degree angle wrap. Row 10, top wire, round top. Row 11, lace it in. Mold around that bottom wire extension and wrap for a 45 degree angle. 
Now at this point, we're going to switch to our next color. So we're going to wrap bare wire around the edges to measure out how much we need. Give yourself a little slack at the end. And then we're going to add color A onto the working wire. Okay, make a little loop in the end so my beads don't fall off. Make sure my beads are down on top of that bottom wire. And we're going to wrap up the side, making sure I'm molding to around the shape of my bottom wire extension. I'm going to lace it in. We're going to bring that top bead down from the top wire and put it right above those last rows of beads. Mold row 12 around that top wire extension. Switch to a 45 degree angle wrap at that top wire. Down the side. Lace and double wrap. And then we're going to wrap at the bottom, making sure I'm molding to that shape. Wrap twice to tie off the working wire. And we're going to be reducing to two bottom wires, so cut off the working wire right below that tie off. Could open the bottom loop off to the side. And I only wrapped this lacing wire once, so I'm going to do that again. Remove those lacing wires. Cut that top wire short and fold it to the back. And there we have a leaf E. Now we're going to be making six of leaf E. We're going to make three of them in this color with color B as the main color and color A as the edging. And then we're mad one go. And then we're going to be making three of them with color C as the main color and color A as the edging. All right, now we're ready for leaf F, which is the last leaf for our Echeveria. There are a lot of them though. Um, now let's talk about the frame setup. Uh, it's made very similar to the previous D and E leaves, just a little bit larger. Now we've got for this one, a four bead basic row, one bead top wire extension, and a two bead bottom wire extension. And my bottom wire is about three inches long, my top wire is about an inch long. And we're going to bend that top wire up, or top bead up out of, out of the way. And we're going to wrap row two with a round top. And then I'm gonna add in my lacing wire. Oh, I just mangled it. Okay. All right, we're gonna add in our lacing wire right above that bottom bead in the basic row. Cross them over the back. And then wrap row two or lace row two. All right, now we're going to wrap rows two through 10 with a round top and pointed bottom. All right, so I've got through row 10 wrapped, and before we do row 11, we gotta get our bottom wire extension taken care of. So untwist, find the wire that's on top, and put the beads on the top wire. The second wire should go behind those beads. Grab and hold. Twist those wires very tightly below those beads. All right, now we're gonna wrap row 11. And lace. Mold around that bottom wire extension. Wrap at a 45 degree angle. Wrap row 12, mold it nicely, lace it in.
round top. And then row 13. Lace it in. Mold around that bottom wire extension. 45 degree angle wrap at the bottom. And at this point, we're going to switch colors. So again, wrap our working wire around the outside edge and measure a little bit longer this time because we need to leave a um, three bottom wires. So measure a little bit longer so you have enough to make that third bottom wire. All right, now we're going to add color A to our working wire. All right, wrap row 14 around the edge. Lace it in. Double wrap because it's the outer row. And we need to bring down that top bead on the top wire to make our top wire extension. Mold row 14 around the top wire extension. And we're gonna to switch to a 45 degree angle wrap. Mold again, make a nice point at the top there. And then wrap row 15 around the outside edge. Lace it in and double wrap that lacing wire to tie it off. And then we're gonna wrap at the bottom for a 45 degree angle. And because this is our last row, we're going to run two, wrap twice. Now we're going to have three bottom wires here, so we're not going to remove that working wire. We're just gonna remove all the beads, and then we're gonna cut open the loop, and we are going to leave all of these wires untwisted. We need them untwisted for assembly. All right, flip to the back, cut off our lacing wires. Cut the top wire short and fold it back. All right, now we're going to be making 15 of leaf D. We will make seven using color C as the main color and color A as the edging. And then you will make eight where color D is the main color with color A as the edging. Now, if you are making this small echeveria, this is the, um, the smaller one here, the smaller size. If you are making them this size instead of the big one, you will not make any leaf F. You will just leave all of them off. The leaf F are gonna be the two bottom layers of the echeveria, and uh, these smaller ones don't have those layers. They stop at leaf E.